The number one thing every player of any instrument is looking for is something that makes playing easier so that we can concentrate on what is important, the music. In that pursuit, there is no shortage of product advertising to do just that in the brass instrument product sphere. From added features on instruments, what they can do with mouthpieces, and categories of all things that I call instrument peripherals. So it's easy and understandable that somebody might get fatigued with all the amount of products that are coming out, especially because sometimes we use more subjective terms to describe things than is easy to understand because at the end of the day, we are talking about an art form. So when a company like Heavy Bottom Caps work with a artist like Tom Hutchinson or Glenn Van Louie, and are promising some of the things that these heavy valve caps can do, it's easy to get curious, if not cautiously optimistic. What's going on, everybody? Aaron here, helping musicians get better, faster. And today we're looking at the Glenn Van Louie model of adjustable bottom caps made by heavy bottom caps. So first off, let's talk about what on earth this thing actually does. Well, ABC, the company, claims that it has a very positive effect in centering and securing the notes in all registers, helping to slot them more accurately. And so to break down what that word salad means is that more or less, it's going to add some weight to the fourth valve on the euphonium, which is kind of nefariously placed. If you think about it, the fourth valve is just kind of hanging there on the side. Because of that, it gets a lot of extra instrument response that I don't think we necessarily notice as players in comparison to the ones that are kind of in that cage up top. So it makes sense then that adding some weight in that floating position can kind of change the overall instrument response, not just when you play the fourth valve. What they're claiming is, is that by putting this weight there, you're gonna change the response in the whole instrument, which will lead to maybe filling out the sound a little bit, maybe adding some texture to the sound, and also some added response things like moving from partial to partial a little bit easier. Now, the way it works is pretty simple. You just take off your normal fourth valve cap and add this on, and there are varying weight options that you can use to change the effect that you're getting to whatever you want. More or less, the more you add, of course, the heavier it's going to be, and the more of the effect that's being added. Of course, with anything, when you add something, you're also taking away something else. So it's really up to the player for their flavor preference for how many they want. While using this, I found my most desirable amount of weight to just be one of the weight plates and the base valve cap, and that's about it. And talking to Glenn, and he puts on the half valve weight and the normal cap. So he's not actually putting on a whole heck of a lot of weight, but I have seen players who are using the whole kit. And when the product comes in, it will come with various parts. You've got the base of everything that's gonna screw into, you've got the part that actually screws onto your instrument, and then you have these various sized weight plates. The ones that it comes with are both the same size, and then Glenn gave me at IET last year, he gave me one of these half sizes. I do not see them on the website for sale individually, and I don't think that they will come with your uh, fourth valve cap. However, the customer service is really good. So if you were to ask for one of these, they might just charge you a little bit extra and or sub out one of the thicker rings for the smaller ring. So as far as options go, on their website, it doesn't look like they have a lot. I think if you just go to their blank website, there's the euphonium version and the baritone version. And you'll see that there is like a gold cap with silver weights. However, like my instrument's all gold. So talking about that good customer service, I did reach out to them and say, you know, hey, I purchased this product, but I play an all gold horn. Is there any way you can get me a fully gold option of this. And they said, yeah, no problem, we'll make it. There was no upcharge or nothing weird like that, just subbed it out and it came in, everything was fine. And the gold matched all of the gold accoutrement that uh, my instrument has. So if you play an all silver horn, you can probably ask for an all silver one and gold vice versa if you play lacquer or gold plated. Um, and they do have euphonium and baritone options. Also make sure that when you're looking through the options, you get the one that will fit your euphonium. I've let a couple students try this and notice that just because it fits my prestige doesn't necessarily mean it'll fit somebody's, you know, Wilson or something like that. So just make sure you, you get what fits your instrument. So for my impressions, I have had 
these on my instrument now for more than a year. It's actually embarrassing that I'm making this video this late. I've been meaning to make this review for a little bit over a year. I wanted to do it last summer and I just never got around to it. So these have been tested and they have been on my instrument the entire time. And again, I'm just using the bass cap with one weight. I found that to be what I like the most. And I'll be honest with you, I feel like in the past two years, I've gone on a journey of like finding my loadout for the euphonium and what I like and what feels really good for me to make the sounds I want to. And I definitely include this in some of the reasonings of how I found my sound. I definitely feel a difference in the texture and the fullness of the sound. I, I think that is the most obvious thing and it does make the playing just a little bit easier but when it comes to like the the partials and the slotting i don't know if that necessarily that response is as much as what they are advertising but that's from my experience others might vary and and feel something and the problem too could be that i've been playing with a certain type of responsiveness for so long that fighting with a new one might have made it more difficult like there, there's so many factors involved with this so i'm not trying to say their claims are inaccurate but in terms of player feel and response i think it's very evident even when you just add weights uh that this is working um and adding the little bit of a weight to that nefarious spot on the fourth valve can definitely be a benefit if it's what you want so i don't want you to think that aaron saying I need one of these in order to be really good. That's not where I'm going with this. I think if you are interested in maybe trying out a different flavor for your sound or trying out some things, I definitely think this can help you discover that. Again, it's a peripheral, it's an accessory. It's not gonna teach you how to play the Will Be Concerto. It might help you sound the way you want to and it might help with some responsiveness stuff. But again, at the end of the day, you're how good you sound and then these things just kind of change that flavor. So where I land with this thing is it's only about $100, so it's not a super expensive accessory. So I think you can get away with ordering it, trying it out, trying on different weights, giving it a go. And if you don't like it, you're not out so much money that it's really upsetting. And this is the only fourth valve cap I've ever tried. I know some instruments come stock with them and so there's a couple other companies around that are doing similar things. So I cannot speak to if it's a better one than another one. Uh, this is the only one I've ever tried. So as far as my experience, I've really liked this one. Um, of course, I'd be open to trying more, but uh, this one's been great. And I trust Glenn and his opinion on things. But here are some playing examples for you to compare and contrast. I took my Lafrique plates off, so we're playing stock everything. And I just changed the amount of weight, didn't move the microphone or anything like that. So what you're hearing is what's being done. The microphone's placed about two feet above my bell um, and it's in the same place for every single one. And I picked this Bordoni because it kind of sits in the catch register. There's some fourth valve stuff, so you can hear if it's just the fourth valve or if it's throughout the rest of the register. But it, the lowest note, I think, is a C. The highest note is an F above the staff. So it kind of sits in that catch register a little bit. So you get an idea of the whole range. <laughs>
but those are my thoughts on this thing. Again, it's not going to make you instantly a better player. It might just help you do some things and maybe change the flavor of your sound a little bit. If you've tried any fourth valve system adding thing like this, any weight on the instrument, I'd be really curious to know what your thoughts are in the comments down below. As always, links for everything are in the description. And if you like this video, please consider giving it a like. And if you haven't done so already, consider subscribing. But that's all I've got for you for this one. Again, I'm Aaron reminding you to be happy, never satisfied. And I'll see you in the next one. Thank you for watching the video. I'd like to take a moment and thank my Patreon patrons, Kevin and Richard. Thank you so much for helping out the channel. If you are interested in becoming a patron, consider going to the link in the description down below to see what extra benefits there are and possibly consider joining up. Thank you again to my patrons for supporting and we'll see you in the next one.